in the stillness of this moment, let's pause and ponder a truth so profound that it has the power to transform lives from the inside out. Imagine standing at the edge of a vast ocean at sunrise, witnessing the darkness flee as light floods the sky, unveiling the day's beauty. This image barely scratches the surface of the awe-inspiring act of love God demonstrated through Jesus Christ. It's an invitation to embark on a journey of gratitude, recognizing the magnitude of His sacrifice and love. If you believe that God can make a difference in your life today, let us stand together in faith. I will pray a fervent prayer with you in the mighty name of Jesus. So watch until the end and open your hearts to receive the blessings of this prayer. Friends, the story of Jesus is not just a tale from ancient history. It's the very essence of God's love letter to humanity. John 3 verse 16 declares, For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son, that whoever believes in Him should not perish, but have everlasting life. This verse isn't just a collection of words. It's a revelation of the boundless love God has for each of us. He chose to give the most precious part of Himself, not because we earned it, but because of His unyielding love for us. Reflect on the moment Jesus, in the Garden of Gethsemane, faced the weight of what was to come. Matthew 26, verses 39, tells us, He went a little farther and fell on His face and prayed, saying, O my Father, if it is possible, let this cup pass from me. Nevertheless, not as I will, but as you will. In his humanity, Jesus experienced the full range of emotions we do, including dread and sorrow, yet he chose to submit to God's will, demonstrating the ultimate act of love and obedience. As we delve into the depths of Jesus' sacrifice, we encounter the story of his crucifixion, Isaiah, 53 verse 5 paints a vivid picture of this sacrifice. But he was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement for our peace was upon him, and by his stripes we are healed. Jesus bore the punishment we deserved, and through his wounds we find healing and peace. This profound truth should stir our hearts toward immense gratitude. In the midst of his suffering, Jesus exemplified forgiveness and grace. Luke 23 verse 34 captures one of his final acts on the cross. Father, forgive them, for they do not know what they do. Even in his darkest hour, Jesus' concern was for the forgiveness of others. His unfathomable love and mercy were displayed, offering us a model of forgiveness that transcends human understanding. But the story didn't end at the cross. The resurrection of Jesus is our victory song, a testament to God's power over death and promise of eternal life for those who believe. Matthew 28, verse 6 declares, He is not here, for He has risen, as He said. Come, see the place where the Lord lay. The empty tomb is a beacon of hope, affirming that death has been defeated and eternal life is accessible to us through faith in Christ. This act of divine love and sacrifice calls us to a response of heartfelt gratitude. Ephesians 2 verses 8 to 9 remind us, For by grace you have been saved through faith and that not of yourselves. It is the gift of God, not of works, lest anyone should boast. Our salvation is a gift, not a result of our efforts, but a testament to God's grace. It compels us to live in a state of thankfulness, recognizing the magnitude of what has been done for us. As we stand in awe of this unparalleled sacrifice, Let's allow our hearts to be moved to a posture of deep thanksgiving, 
Today, as we reflect on the magnitude of God's love through Jesus Christ, may we be inspired to offer a prayer of gratitude, a prayer that acknowledges the depths of His love, the enormity of His sacrifice, and the gift of our salvation. Let this be a moment where we say, Lord Jesus, thank you, not just with our words, but with our entire being. May this thanksgiving be the beginning of a transformed life, rooted in the love and sacrifice of Christ. Now, to all those within the sound of my voice, let us go to the Lord in prayer. I want you to pray this prayer with me so that you can have all the blessings of this prayer. You may also listen to this prayer daily as you build your faith and come in agreement. Let us pray to our gracious and loving God. Heavenly Father, Almighty God, I come before you this morning, heart brimming with praise for the majesty and splendor of your creation. Your love, O oh Lord, stretches across the heavens, and your faithfulness is as boundless as the sky. Your mercies are new every morning, a true testament to the depth of your love for us, demonstrated through the sacrifice of Jesus Christ on the cross. I thank you, Lord, for the gift of life, for the air that I breathe, and for the grace that sustains me. Thank you, Father, for your unending love, a love so profound that you gave your only begotten Son, that I might have eternal life. I am forever grateful for you, Lord Jesus. You bore my sins and shame on the cross, offering me forgiveness and a new beginning. I confess my sins before you, Lord, asking for your forgiveness. In the same breath, I choose to forgive those who have wronged me, releasing any bitterness and anger. Lord, I declare in the name of Jesus that no weapon formed against me shall prosper. I rebuke the attacks of the enemy, fear, doubt, illness, and discord, binding them in Jesus' name. I stand firm on your promises, knowing that you are my protector and shield. Shower your blessings upon me, Lord, and open the floodgates of heaven to pour out an abundance of grace, peace, and favor in my life. I pray for healing, Lord, for myself and for those suffering in body, mind, or spirit. By the stripes of Jesus, we are healed, and I claim this promise over every area of brokenness. Protect me, Father, from the snares of the enemy, from temptations, and from all forms of harm. Guard my heart and mind in Christ Jesus, and let your Holy Spirit guide me in all truth and wisdom. For my loved ones, I ask for your encompassing protection and blessings. May your favor and peace be upon them, covering them in all their ways. Grant them health, blessings, and joy in your presence. Keep them safe from harm and lead them along paths of righteousness for your name's sake. Lord, as I say this prayer, together with everyone listening, I am grateful for every heart that is humbled before you right now. We come in agreement, knowing that where two or three are gathered in your name, there you are in our midst. Bless each one of us. Lord, with your presence, fill us with your Holy Spirit and let your will be done in our lives. As we stand in faith, we claim victory over every challenge, believing that you are working all things together for our good. We pray for those who do not yet know your love, that they might come to a saving knowledge of Jesus Christ. 
open their hearts to receive your grace and use us as vessels of your love and light in this world. Lord Jesus, we thank you for all that you have done. You are worthy of all glory and honor. Lord, we surrender our lives into your gracious arms. For yours is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever and ever. Thank you, Lord, for hearing and answering my prayer. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray, amen. If you were blessed by this prayer, type the word amen in the comments section below. I declare that all the blessings of this prayer are now upon you. In the name of Jesus, you can help us to reach more persons and spread the gospel. You can do this by sharing the video with a friend or family member and by clicking the like button. Also remember to subscribe to our channel Daily Jesus Prayers for more videos. That will bless your heart and uplift your spirit. We appreciate all your support. You're blessed to be a blessing. Please feel free to leave your prayer request in the comments section so that we can present them before God for your blessings and victory and so that other believers on the YouTube platform and all over the world can join us and start praying for you right now. Stand in faith with us while we pray. To God be all the glory. May the grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all.